is really a must-win situation, unless elimination is on the table, but the Sunday night football game between the Green Bay Packers and the Minnesota Vikings is about as close as you can get for the road team. Green Bay and Minnesota both trail the Chicago Bears in the NFC North, but the Packers cannot afford to fall two games under 500 with a loss in this spot. The Vikings are favored by three points with extra juice, and the total on the game is at 47.5 points. The Green Bay Packers are the more popular team early in the week, as some of the sports books that opened at 3.5 are down to 3 with extra juice. Others are still trying to hold on to the 3.5, which suggests that the Vikings may end up being the sharp side like they were last week against the Bears. The Packers are 4-5-1 straight up and against the spread this season, and they are 6-4 to the over. The Packers have not won straight up or against the spread in consecutive games this season, and cannot accomplish that this week either. Mike McCarthy's days appear to be numbered in Green Bay. Last week's fourth quarter punt sealed the team's fate against the Seahawks. It was probably a fireball offense to kick the ball away with a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers isn't having his best season, but, given the circumstances, he's played well enough for the Packers to be better. Rodgers has 19 touchdown passes and just one interception on the season, with an average of 307.3 passing yards per game. Rodgers has been sacked 30 times, a byproduct of a below-average offensive line and a slew of wide receiver injuries. Randall Cobb is listed as questionable again this week, and the Packers are already without Jake Kumarau and Geronimo Allison. The defensive coordinator, Mike Patin, has done a good job with this defense, as the Packers are only allowing 5.5 yards per play on the season and have recorded 34 sacks. The Minnesota Vikings were unable to take care of business against the Bears on Sunday Night Football last week, but they'll get another chance in primetime this week. Minnesota fell to 5-4-1 straight up and 5-4-1 against the spread with that loss. The game went over the total to give Minnesota an even 5-5 split on the over-under. The Vikings are favored over the Packers for just the fifth time in the Aaron Rodgers era that dates back to 2008. They are 3-0-1 straight up when in that role, but just 2-2 two two against the spread, including the 29-29 tie earlier this season when the Vikings were a two-point road favorite and tied 29-29 after trailing 20-7 going into the fourth quarter. Sometimes a chef can have all the best ingredients and still not make a very good meal. That's the case for Mike Zimmer this season. He has a lot of individual talent, including wide receivers Stefan Diggs and Adam Thielen, who have combined for 156 receptions, 1,726 yards, and 12 touchdowns. Kirk Cousins has the numbers with a 70.7% completion rate and a decent 19-7 touchdown-interception ratio but something just isn't right about this Vikings team. While the Packers don't apply this week, Cousins is 4-21 against teams that are over 500. The Packers, despite their record, are still a quality opponent, and Cousins has not fared that well with those either. The Vikings' defense is one of the hardest things to figure out this season. Minnesota has the best third-down defense in the NFL and the best red zone defense in the NFL but the Vikings are still 11th in points allowed and are even plus one in the turnover department. So the story with the offense is the same as the story with the defense. Something just isn't right. We'll look for the mild upset in this game as the Packers stand a good chance of taking care of business on the road. All of the stats paint a positive picture for the Vikings, but there is something intangible missing for this team. Aaron Rodgers is going to make throws that no human being should be able to. And it is extremely difficult to trust Kirk Cousins to do the same. The Vikings have been held under 300 yards by the Lions and Bears in their last two games, and that usually doesn't cut it against a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers. The Vikings' defense stacks up well from a number standpoint and should be able to contain Rodgers as much as any other team can. So we'll look for this game to stay under the total of 47.5 points. Our pick and prediction is for Green Bay to win this game both straight up and against the spread, and for the total to stay under 47.5 points. Want some free money? Click over to BetDSI.com and get up to $500 free cash to move your bets along when you open an account today. Join all the action with a few fun and exciting wagers, because it's only a game until you bet it.